What is up YouTube and welcome back to part 2 of how to build your own model rocket. This is Jesse's RC and as you've seen in the first video we built the engine mount itself. Now the next step that we're going to do is slide it up inside of the rocket. Whenever, let me get over here to where you can see it. Whenever you get the first slot inside of it, you want to stop dump you some glue around the inside of it and don't be afraid to use a lot you guys you, you can put you a fairly good amount of glue in here it's not gonna hurt just just enough to get it all over the sides good and make sure it's gonna seal off really good because you don't want this motor mount to shoot up inside of the tube for your first launch you don't want that to happen as long as you put you enough glue you will not have to worry about that and then you want to slide it on down in and you want the bottom of the rocket tube in the center to be flush with the bottom of your tube and then dump you some more glue and let your rocket sit vertical like that to dry. Every now and then you can rotate it down or up and spin it to get your glue all around there. So after we do that step I'll be back. Okay YouTube I just wanted to make this quick clip to show you guys of how much glue I use. I got enough to where you cannot even see the cardboard anymore and it is flush with the inside of my rocket. You cannot see it unless I turn it at an angle. So that's what yours should look like. Next, after this dries, we're going to work on the fins. Alright YouTube, so you can either wait for the engine mount to dry inside of the rocket, or you can go ahead and start working on your fins while it's drying. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, all you're going to need is something with a straight edge. I'm just going to be using a pack of the box blades here because it's got a nice straight edge on it. And I'm going to use uh, old uh, cards that go in your wallet. Uh, just just regular cards doesn't have to be fancy and you can use anything you can even use balsa wood if you want to but I, I don't know why I just prefer plastic fins balsa wood seems a little bit wobbly to me but uh, I'll, the way I'm gonna make mine is I'm just gonna go from corner to corner just like that I'm gonna take something it don't have to be a pencil whatever you got a pen pen will work fine I'm just gonna draw me a line right right down the side and if they come out even on both sides, you won't need all three cards because this right here should make two fins. So all you should need is one more. But if you mess up on one, you can just use three and not have to worry about it, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a box blade or whatever you have to cut with and cut evenly down that line. One thing I wanted to point out, YouTube, after you make one little line with uh, your box blade or whatever you're using to cut with, if you're using these plastic cards, once you get one little groove cut in, you should be able to push, as you see, and they'll just snap. So there you go. I automatically have two fins just like that. Not a big deal. So after you get another one made, you pick out the ones you like. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to draw a line straight on your rocket. Very simple. We use this step in the first video. But uh, I'll show you how to do it one more time, and then we're going to get these glued on. Alright YouTube, so one thing I wanted to show you to get your line straight on your tube, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make four fins, so if you use two cards and they come out perfect, you'll have four fins, <clears throat> but what, what you can do is take one of the fins that you just made and put it halfway across the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, this is a rocket you're building yourself, it's going to fly good as long as it's kind of close, as close as you can get it. What you want to do is then look right there at the corner of the fin and you're gonna mark you a line with your pencil one on both sides and then you're gonna take and rotate it halfway around and you're gonna do the same thing again so you'll have an even mark on each corner and after you do that then I'm going to show you how to extend the lines easily without having to worry about a ruler or something on a round tube I'll show you how to do that easily and then we'll install the fins all right, YouTube, so to get your line straight, you're gonna find you something, this could be like the trim of your door inside your house or something, something simple like that, just something you can make a straight edge on. In my shed, I have these little uh, support beams on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle it. Here's, here's one of my lines. I'm gonna angle it over that corner and then I can draw me a nice straight line up the side of that. You guys got to excuse my dog, the neighbor's outside and she don't like people. But you're going to do that for all your corners and then you have you a nice line on the side of your tube. Alright YouTube, so before I tack my fins onto the rocket and get them glued 
To avoid having to tape off my rocket later, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint my four fins. Uh, I'm just going to be using some cheap spray paint. I got two different colors. I'm going to make the body of my rocket red. I'm going to make my fins blue. And this is just cheap dollar store paint to keep it as cheap as I can for you guys. Uh, remember, I'm trying to keep it cheap. That way, if you don't want to have to go out and buy your own or you're just looking to make your own rocket and you want to keep it cheap, you guys, that is dollar store paint. It's nothing fancy. So I'm going to get these spray painted and I'll be back to install them. Alright YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance for the shakiness of this video because I'm not using my camera mount right now. But while the fins are drying, what you can actually go ahead and do is spray paint the two of your rocket and go ahead while and keep it vertical. Uh, after your glue starts to set a little bit and it's evenly inside the tube, you can go ahead and hang it like I got it. I got it hanging by a string that's holding my big airplane up up there. But nevertheless, as you can see, that is that is drying while the fins are drying, so saves time. Uh, I recommend using two coats of paint on the tube of your rocket. That way, because not only does it add color to it, but it also uh, gives it a little bit of strength. Uh, when the ejection charge goes off so it helps strengthen the tube of your rocket so I'm going to coat it again but as you can see even though I already drew my lines you can still if I can get the camera to focus you can still see the lines and that's with two coats of paint on it so your lines shouldn't go away if you use a pencil or something like I did and it's a lighter color paint but uh, if you use a darker color paint you may want to wait and do your lines after this step but I just wanted to show that to you guys so once everything dries, we're going to get the uh, fins glued on. I think I already said that two or three times, but I'm trying to help you guys save some time. But next, after this, we will be putting the fins on. Alright YouTube, so now we're back and we're going to install the fins. Everything is painted up. I wanted to point out, I found me half of an Easter egg. I cut it in half and paint, uh, spray painted it, so that's going to be the nose cone. Um, but what I like to do is I do not recommend using hot glue for your whole fin, but as you can see, I can still see my lines. I'm going to put a dab, one back here, one in the front, and then one on the opposite side, one in the back, and one in the front, to sturdy them in place so I don't have to sit here and hold them because hot, drew, dry, hot, hot glue dries a lot faster than uh, wood glue or something else like that. So that'll help you be able to hold it in place by itself without you having to sit here and hold it for an hour or so waiting on your glue to dry. So once we get it tacked on, then I'm going to run me a bead of glue down each side, and I'll show you what that uh, should look like after I get done. Alright YouTube, so I went ahead and got all four fins tacked on uh, with the hot glue. Uh, now for my fins, I personally, personally like to use the Sig Bond. Uh, I picked this up at uh, Hobby Lobby in Dothan, Alabama, but you do not have to use this you guys. I've always used this on my fins just because it's, it hardens really good. It's specifically for model rockets and uh, RC aircraft and I know it's really good stuff so that's that's what I personally like to use and all you're gonna do is take and run you a bead down each fin. Now you're only gonna be able to do this two at a time because when the fins are sitting down it, it'll stay level in the corners right there of the uh, Right, right between there of the where you're gonna put your glue so you're gonna have to let it dry and then you can spin it and do this side you, you see what I'm saying you guys so just take your time with it this is probably the most time consuming part other than the uh, motor mount but after this you guys we're close to being done I'm going to show you uh, my homemade parachute and the uh, cord that I'm going to be using to uh, <clears throat> hold the nose cone and the parachute together with and that's we're, we're just about done with it you guys so let's get in let's get this glued and I'll be right back all right YouTube I just wanted to make this as a quick clip uh, as you can see I use plenty of glue on mine and this stuff that I'm using the sig bond that I showed you dries clear so I'll be able to see my paint and everything through it but use enough to hold on get you enough surface area on the fin and the rocket tube itself that way they hold on on top of the hot glue because uh, if one of these come off during flight, it can make your rocket do some crazy stuff. I, I know by experience, you guys. So make sure you got enough glue and do that to the rest of them. And I'll be right back after you get done with that. Alright, you two. While you're letting one side of your fins dry to go ahead and save some time, we're going to make our launch rails that's going to hold the rocket onto the uh, launching pad. Now, what I used was a straw 
and made them in about three quarters of an inch pieces to an inch and I want to put one right in the center down here with some hot glue of my fins and then one's going to be placed up here on the rocket body and that's what's going to keep your rocket held onto the launch pad. Alright YouTube, so as you can see I got my launch uh, guide rails on. I'm going to come around here to the front of the rocket and uh, since we're using stuff from around the house, what I have here is just a piece of uh, wire that's coated and this is going to be my ejection cord that holds everything together. Um, you can pick something up from Walmart if you wanted to. They actually have the uh, flexible string, kind of like a rubber band uh, that the actual SD's model rockets use. But <clears throat> all I'm going to do, i got a piece of masking tape on the end of it. I'm going to put me some hot glue on it. And I'm going to stick it right down here in the tip of my rocket about an inch or two inside of it. And just push it up against the wall. And it's not going to go nowhere. And uh, as you can see here, there is a... Uh, YouTuber that I learned this trick from so I'm not going to take credit for it of how to make your own parachute What I actually used was Christmas stuffing uh, like if you get a, a Christmas present in a bag This is that plastic sheeting and just some sewing thread and some duct tape to make your parachute and you can go on YouTube and type in how to make an easy Parachute for a model rocket and the guy's video that I found his channel was called US water rockets And that's where I learned how to make that from so that would be attaching to the opposite end without the masking tape on it so I'm going to get that glued in I'm going to tie my parachute off to it and I'll show you what it looks like alright YouTube so once you got your ejection cord glued inside the rocket I went ahead and tied off my parachute onto the uh, launch cord at the end tied it in and hot glued around it so the knot won't come undone then what you're wanna gonna do is take your Easter egg that you've painted and place where the cords meet from the parachute and the shock cord and just glue it on the inside like so so everything stays attached and then actually believe it or not you are done building your rocket let's have a look at what it looks like completed and part three of the video is going to be actually flying it to show you guys that it does work so here we go Okay, that was horrible, YouTube, but here is my rocket built compared on the launch pad and everything next to an uh, SD's model rocket kit that you can buy. Let me back up. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm in my room now. But as you can see, it cost me nothing to make this. You guys, I already had everything. Uh, and it looks just as good as one that you can buy so that is the complete build of the model rocket and uh, part three is going to be actually flying it so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, build you guys and keep a lookout for the flight video